Children, obey your parents as you would the Lord, because this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Train up a child in the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not depart from it. Behold, children are a gift of the Lord, like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. How blessed is the man whose quiver is filled with them. Some people were bringing little children to Jesus so that he might touch them. Permit the children to come to me, do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will not enter it at all. And he took them in his arms and began blessing them, laying his hands on them. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the Savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. A man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This mystery is profound, but I am talking about Christ and the Church. To sum up, each one of you is to love his wife as himself, and the wife is to respect her husband. If I speak human or angelic languages, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so that I can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I donate all my goods to feed the poor, and if I give my body in order to boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy, is not boastful, is not conceited, does not act improperly, is not selfish, is not provoked, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, 
but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends.